The movie begins in 1899, where Dr. Alex, a professor in New York City, is obsessed with proving the concept of time travel. Alex loved his fiancée very much. One day a robber accidentally kills Alex's fiancée. Heartbroken Alex builds a time machine four years later in 1903, to get his fiancée back. He then goes back in time four years in time machine, and tries to prevent his fiancée's impending death. But he could not do this, because he was not able to change her time statement. This time his fiancée dies after being run over by a car. Alex now travels to the future in the year 2030 to find a solution on this. But there Alex learns from a holographic artificial intelligence librarian, that even in 2030, the time machine has not been invented. So Alex now moves forward 60 years that means to the year 2037. But he sees everywhere a land destruction there. So while returning to time machine in a hurry, Alex accidentally triggers the machine on an unknown setting, only to be knocked unconscious by a strong shock. During this, his time machine travels millions of years ahead, where the land has started returning to normal after destruction. When Alex regains consciousness, he finds himself in an ancient community. People there were about to kill Alex, considering him an alien, but a woman, named Mara, saves him from them. Mara was a teacher in that ancient community, so she could understand Alex's words. Alex also sees the ruins of New York City millions of years later. Next day, Alex was about to return to his present life through the time machine, suddenly some scary creatures come out of the ground and attack that ancient community peoples. One creature take Mara into the ground with them. Alex come to know from Mara's little brother, that those creatures has their world under the ground. After that, Alex meets there the same holographic artificial intelligence librarian, to whom he made in year 2030. From him Alex learns that, after the land destruction of 2037, some people started living underground. And then after millions of years, these people have transformed into today's creatures. Since they have no source to eat below ground, so they start eating people living above the ground. Now Alex goes to the world of those creatures living under the ground, to save Mara. There he sees Mara imprisoned. Alex meets the leader of the creatures there, who has the ability to read anyone's mind. That leader advises Alex to go back to his life. But when Alex turns on the time machine, he immediately pulls that leader into the time machine, so that the ancient community here can get freedom from these creatures. But during this time the leader falls out of the time machine and starts hanging. The time machine was now started going into the future, that's why that leader gradually grows old, turns into a skeleton, and then dies. Alex then reached further into the future, where only those creatures existed. That means those creatures had killed all the humans in the future. Alex now understands that he cannot change the past, but he can definitely change the future by living in the present. Therefore, he comes back through the time machine to the era of that ancient community. Alex blows up his time machine in the underground world of those creatures, due to which all those creatures gets died. That means, Alex had saved the human race from extinction from these creatures in the future. Now Alex did not have a time machine to return back his life, so he starts his new life with Mara in the same ancient community. We can see that Alex's friend and Alex is at exactly at the same place, but in different era. Means present life, and life millions of years later.